And welcome to A Viewer's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that this guy seems to step on. It is January 26th. Uh, it's a Thursday, <laughs> and we are over 10,000 subscribers. I know we made the video yesterday, and I want to thank you so much for that. Uh, it means the world to me, and uh, for all of your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, I want to do a video on how you can make a thumbnail for your voiceover business, whether you're on Fiverr, whether you're on Voices, uh, no matter what platform you're on, whether you're putting it on your website. I want to show you how to make a, a really professional-looking thumbnail uh, quickly and easily and for free. Okay, uh, I use this service every single day. Lots of it. Um, <laughs> so I want to show you uh, how to do that today. We're going to make a thumbnail that looks just like this, okay, from scratch. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, real quick, before we dive into that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that we can keep growing. Also, make sure you hit the notification bell so that when I do uh, post a video, you get notified. Also, please make sure to check out the link below to Avio's Journey Elite Academy. We're offering 50% off the first month, and we would love to have you come and check out uh, and, and learn how to build your business, grow your voiceover business, and, um, you know, such a wonderful community. It is so worth it. Come check it out. I think you're really going to like it. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward into how to make a thumbnail for your voiceover business. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this thumbnail right here. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and start by going back to the home tab. All right, just so you know what I've done okay, is that I've uh, just opened a new account. I've gone to Adobe uh, Express, and I just, they ask you to type in your name, your birth date, okay, your email address, and then it'll offer, you know, it'll, you get to sign up for a free account, all right? There are a few little things that you can't do without the premium account, but you don't need it, all right? And I'm going to show you how to build your perfect demo with um, Adobe Express, or perfect, excuse me, about how to build your perfect thumbnail with Adobe Express. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is we want to create a new project. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click this plus button. This is going to come up. Now with the free trial, you can't customize, all right, the size graphic. You've got to go into, or let me rephrase. If you go into one of these, like so let's say you create a Facebook post, it will create the dimensions for you. But if you are in that and you want to switch to another, you want to resize that photo, you're not going to be able to do that. So you need to make sure you get the correct one out here. All right. Um, now, I can go in here and I can I can actually just do the size myself. All right. So a lot of times I literally do uh, something like we'll, we'll even do, what is it, uh, 1280 by... 720 okay uh and this is your typical youtube layout now what we do here is you can see that like if i wanted to resize it while i'm in here it has this little number or uh, this little thing ahead of it and it won't let me do it okay it won't let me resize i have to resize i i have to have the premium but we don't need the premium because i just set it up that way all right so now we have a blank canvas okay and i always recommend you use your youtube layout I find that that works all over the place. Yes, you can use 1920 or 1920 by 1080. Uh, that works as well. But I usually like the YouTube layout. If you're doing something for, you know, uh, Fiverr, it'd probably be better to do the 1920 by 1080. So let's actually go back. I'm not going to save it. And we're going to do it again. So we're going to come here. We're going to click on this. Go to Customize Graphic. All right. And I'm going to go to 1920 by 1080. It was probably, I, I'm, I'm so used to the YouTube thumbnail because I make YouTube thumbnails <laughs> right all the time. But this is, this is, we would want this for our, like, for example, a Fiverr thumbnail. I like to lower this to about 50 to 75%. And that just changes the view for me. All right. So now what's really cool about this is that we can drag and drop. So the first thing I like to do with the thumbnail is I like to have some sort of picture 
So you need a picture of yourself. There is nothing that you can't do without, I mean, there's nothing that you um, can't do with this cell phone uh, that you have. I mean, it is really incredible. I take all of my pictures. Now, do I recommend professional headshots? Yes, absolutely. I recommend professional headshots, but I find that this will, you don't let that stop you. Use your cell phone, especially the newer cell phones. I mean, the cameras are just incredible. You can get a great headshot. I recommend when you take the headshot, you know, put something on nice, okay, and take a closer shot of your head. Uh, you know, I, we don't need your entire body in the shot. You just need more of a headshot, okay? Um, that's and, and that will eliminate, you know, have a nice background, but that will eliminate a lot of issues that you might have with a, just a full body shot. You don't need all that. You just need a headshot. So like this picture right here, I'm going to take it. I'm going to drag and drop. All right. So all I got to do is take a picture on my desktop. I can either drag or drop there. I can come over here and go to photos. All right. And I can upload a photo from my, you know, from my desktop. Right. I can say, you know, hey, I'm going to come down here and do this photo so I can. That's the photo there. All right. Or I can just simply, like I said, drag and drop. All right. So that puts the photo in there. Now I've got this photo. Now I can do a bunch of things with it. All right. I can, you know, make it bigger. OK, I can even take this and say add it to background and <laughs> adds it to background. I don't want to do that uh, <laughs> because I don't need it added to the background. I want to manipulate it myself. Uh, just make sure you know that when you do add it to the background, it changes the photo. This helps you go backwards and forwards. All right. So, you know, you can redo something, take it back, go forward. All right. Um, but what I like to do is I like to take this photo and I'm going to. Make it bigger so it kind of fits to one side like this. All right. And I'm going to put it to the side like this so it covers, all right, the white. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this side and it brings up the background color. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to, this is a really cool feature is that you can actually use this eyedropper to take a color anywhere on this. All right. And make it the color of the background. So I'm going to just click the black and that makes it completely black. So now I've got this picture, this thumbnail that's got completely, it's got my picture on here with this background. That's all black. It looks like it's all one picture. All right. Um, I love that. So now what I'm going to do, right, is I want to get some words on this. So the whole point with this is I'm doing uh, a, a thumbnail for, you know, my American voiceover gig, okay, or, or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead to text, all right? It pops up, and I'm going to say add text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my name. I like to put it in all caps. That's just me, all right? I'm going to move it here to the side. I really like the look of thumbnails where you've got your picture and then you've got your name and just what you do. We don't need a ton of stuff for your pictures. You know what I'm saying? You do for your thumbnails. We just need it to look clean, professional, easy to read. Now this pops up here. I've got this here. I can also come here and check out a lot of different types of fonts that I can that I can use and switch to. I'm actually going to keep it here like this, and they also give some recommendations. So now that I've got this here, I'm going to go ahead and add another text because I want to say American uh, male voice actor. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. All right, and let it get itself down there like so. Now, I'm going to see this. I actually really like this. I'm going to do it like that, all right, to where it gives some contrast. All right, so now I've got Anthony Pica, all right? Now, cool thing about this is, let's say I want this to look more boxy or something. I can come over here and play with this. This little capitalized lift thing, that's going to change this into a box, all right? Something like this, all right? So Anthony Pica... Um, and you know, again, you, you could play around with this. It's really up to you to go back. You could just do it like this, right? I might even want to have it like, you know, like this, do you know what I mean? Anthony Pika 
and then male voice actor, something like that. I think for me, I you know, I like it to where it's a little bit bigger. Okay, and then this down here, you know what I mean? You can do something like male voice actor, something like this. Um, here's the important part when you're making thumbnails, though, and I, I find this no matter where you are, all right, whether you're putting it on social media, where you're putting it on your website, or you're putting it on Fiverr, you want to make sure that you do leave some room along the sides, right? Especially with your your words, so that it doesn't cut them off. Okay. Um, all right. So now we have this and the peak American male voice actor. I want to add something else to. It. I want to add just a little panaz. All right. So I'm going to come to photos. This is really cool. Uh, they give you get a whole bunch of Adobe stock photos for free. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to type in American flag. And I'm going to take just this first one here. All right. And I'm going to press it. Now it pops up here. Now there's a really cool feature, all right, about this. If I uh, uh, click on this, there's this feature called remove background. And you can do this with your photo. You can do this with all sorts of photos. It's awesome. It's really good. So you hit the remove background, all right, and it's going to remove the white, and you're going to be left with uh, this photo right here. Okay, I'm going to hit uh, okay. All right, all right. So now I've got this photo here. What I'm going to do right is I'm going to uh, let's see I'm just going to make it go into the corner here all right cool all right so now here's an interesting thing too I can actually go back let's see let me take it back real quick because if you notice there is a if I remove background you notice there's a little piece I think sticking out here Right there. Uh, what I can do is I can actually hit erase. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. So, okay. So, it's not going to let me do any more without the full package, which is fine. All right. But anyways, I'm going to hit okay because it looks fine. And then I'm going to come over here because um, I was going to say you could. there's a little brush tool in the advanced package that you can take that out. But, you know, we don't need to worry about that on this one because I think it looks fine. But basically, and you, you can work on this too with other ones. So, basically, I'm going to come and take it like this. All right, I've got a little bit of side here. Yep, 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 yep. Looks kind of cool. All right, so now what I'm going to do, and I'm also going to take this, and I'm going to, I can make it a little less bright, all right, by the transparency here. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Command-C and Command-V, which is basically uh, me just copying and pasting a new one. All right, and then I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to flip it. If you if you click on this, you can flip an image around, all right? And then I'm going to just flip this around here like so. All right, so now, all right, I've got this really cool thumbnail, okay, that I could use and uh, as, you know, whether it's on my website, whether it's on my YouTube channel, whether it's on a pay-to-play site or a freelance site like Fiverr or Upwork, I can create thumbnails like this. I could even change out. I can switch things around. It's a really easy tool. Then all I do is go to download. I can download a PNG. I can download transparent. This is fantastic. If you're doing something and you want to do a transparent, you can download transparent. You can download a JPEG or turn it into PDF. You just start download. All right. It will download right to here. Okay, um, and I'm going to say continue with my free trial. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead. Now, of course, just like Canva, you know, as long as you have the free trial. So here's the here's the photo that we just made. All right, 1920 by 1080 looks pretty good. And I don't even really, those aren't even bothering me really that much. Um, but, you know, you can always, if something happens with a picture, you can always find one where that doesn't happen. Uh, sometimes it's not exactly perfect, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, and I really actually like this photo. So, you know, just like Canva, though, as long as you're not on the premium, it will pop pop ups and everything. But you can do it for a while without it. My recommendation is you do pay for it. Go for it. I think it's like uh, each one is different, but it's a couple bucks a month. 
You know what I mean? I think it's maybe around ten or twenty dollars a month, but it is worth it for the amount of thumbnails because you're going to pay people a lot of money over and over and over again to do thumbnails, and you want to be able to do them yourself. All right, listen, everybody. I hope this has been super helpful, and um, you know these are just some of the things that we talk about and train about over the academy, and we'd love to have you and check that out because you know this is this is the you know it's funny because the things that we do in our business, you know, to grow. Uh, so much of it revolves around our voice acting, but then so much of it revolves around things like this because you got to be able to do these things in order to get yourself in a position where people will actually find you, then have a desire to click on you, and then they listen to you. Okay, so you know it's important to be able to do these things just as much as it is about doing voice acting these days because we're running our own home studios. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Remember again, check out that link to Avio's Journey Elite Academy below. Uh, thank you again for 10,000 subscribers, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. Talk to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>